they have to choose someone, even if in their mind it's a lesser of two evils scenario or whatever, they can't pick no one to win. If people are there at the end right. of the game, someone has to win. So, um, I don't know. I mean, really, I just, my oh God, I got so many different things firing off in my head. I mean, I didn't come here. Different I mean, directions. also, you know, I also keep in mind, again, your words from last week about the 33% and about the, the pairings and, and, you know, the yeah, I mean, suggestion that, that you thought that was... terrifies a, the shit out of you, me, too. You thought that was a suggestion that foreseeably, you know, you were considering at that time as a viable option. I mean, I'm, I'm more going back in my head over the conversations that we've had. No, I know. But I know that... Jamaica. I never even thought I'd even have this, to be honest. Yeah, I know that, you know, Jamaica has been someone. Let, let's face it. I mean, I know that it's not the way you're gonna. You she know, holds a grudge against look, me for stuff look, I don't even know. Look what at it. I've done. But, but for weeks now, you you guys have been on polar opposite ends of the spectrum. Clearly, she, you're not her favorite. She's not yours. You know, that's it's. We can try and sugarcoat it any which way, but oh, I know. it's it's pretty clear-cut in speaking to either of you that if you were to choose one person each that you could never have to deal with again and ship them out for good, it, it would you would be each other respectively. And I do think part of, you know, an opportunity like these this week is, you know, you feel, even if you're caught in the middle, you're, you feel a degree of safety with me and Jess and with Dick and Danielle. You don't feel any safety whatsoever with Jamaica. You're right. And About I feel that. like... Both of the pairs, if you will, are at a point where they're, they're going to do whatever they, they can do to protect themselves. And if it's at Jamaica's expense, sorry, Jamaica, but she's going to go home 3 nothing. It's, it's going to mm -hmm. be a guarantee. I'm, I, I mean, I don't know what they're saying to you. I don't know what sort of shenanigans they're trying to do to, oh. get, to get us <laughs> out or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm, sure that, I'm sure there's something or whatever, but... Um, Everybody has that I've talked to has presented all three scenarios in three different in each different way. All what, all three scenarios of what? Of either it being a combination of Jessica and Jamika, being a combination of you and Jamika, being a combination of Jessica and Jamika, no, being a combination of me, you and and, and and Jessica. I mean, there's no, no. been everybody's presented things, and I'm like, I already know all these things. It's not helping me. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, of but, course. I mean. Not that I expect them to come up and present scenarios that involve themselves, so I don't hold that against them. I, understand I just that, hope it's right. being done personally in a tactful manner, because as you've seen in this conversation, I have not come up and insulted or even suggested anything about no. them in any which way. That's not what I'm here for. Right. Here to speak on my own behalf, pick your brain, you know, I, talk about these conversations we've had. Obviously, I'm not going to go up and say, I think the best idea is to put me up and put no, me up I against know. Jessica. And they're not going to do the same thing either. They have to protect their own interests. We have to protect ours. I understand that, so I don't hold that personally, but mutually agreeable to all of us. And I mean, I can only go off the conversations we had. I, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't say what's honest, what's blowing smoke up my butt. I don't really know. But Danielle and I have had two conversations since yesterday already, last night, and again today. And she said on both accounts, and I agreed with her, that the ideal scenario is that Jamaica goes up and we will all just send her home. We would all feel comfortable with her leaving. We'd all be happy with her leaving. It would leave you in a good spot where yeah. you haven't, you know, raised the ire of anyone in any right, which way. Right. It's, it's a mutually agreeable thing. I wouldn't know if I would call it a truce. I don't know if I'd call it in anything other than there's one more person outside of the five of us who is kind of floating around and she makes us all wary. She is going to be dangerous and she's going to be impossible for any of us to beat at the end. And that's mutually agreeable to all of us. Now I know it's something you kind of blew off. It wasn't something you were all that keen on or whatever, but I know for a couple of weeks now, you know, Dick's been talking to you about the five of us as a possible final five anyway. Sure. And, and I'm sure that in his vision of it, then it means the three of you against the two of us. And then mm -hmm. I'm sure then in his vision of it, once it gets to the three of you, it means the two of them. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure we all understand that or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I know you look at it analytically. I know you look at it from a number standpoint and this and that. And 
there is a lot of value to taking out someone who's personally a huge threat to you. I know. And it'll make everyone else happy. And it will keep your own, you know, hands clean, really. I mean, which is a big thing in an HOH week, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know. Um, I can tell you, I guarantee, just like you said last week and whatever, um, I already, ahead of time, was planning on targeting her if I was HOH. And I know it would have made Jess upset, but I would have done it anyway. It's, it doesn't really matter. And I believe, or I would like to believe, based on the conversations we had, that, that Dick and Danielle would have done the same thing. I mean, they may have very well put up me and Jess. I don't know. But the conversations I've had with people are indicative of the fact that universally, everyone said, before she has the chance to weasel her way out of it, God forbid oh, she yeah. the veto this week. You know, we have a second chance next week or whatever. But before it's all of a sudden the final four, she wins one competition and she wins the game, you know. And um, we yeah, all know I'm at this point, I have, I, and I know that you value this also. I don't play the game for the jury. I play the game for the house here. But you know I'm 0 for 3 on the jury right now against any of you. And I'm not using that as a way to, like, yeah. rally myself up, but... Amber and Dustin are going to view it as I'm the vote that was the deciding vote that eliminated both of them. They're going to sit there for the next four weeks and stew cry about, about it, it and right. stew about it and talk shit about me. And Jen, um, you know, I had a brutal final week with, including to the very last words both of us said out the door, she took a snide remark at me and I took a snide, mm -hmm. brutal, you know, pretty insulting remark at her. Now, I'm not claiming I'm proud of this or this is my intention or this is my strategy i'm just saying like at this point i've gotten worked over in the fucking bat hang killed yesterday i have no friends on the jury i'm i thought i was a pretty big threat and i'm beginning to see it as dear god i don't think i'm much of a threat at all everyone fucking hates me right. and uh i suck at the competitions and can't win them when i need them you know and um i mean Jamaica, you're gonna take it go to the diary room. for however you take it but when Do you think you think if like for some odd reason say Jamika isn't on the block and she won POV, would she use it on either you or on if you were on on you or Jessica? Do you yeah. think that would that she would? I think she would. I think she'd use it on Jessica. 